up to Wallace Lake, which is the next lake north of Smith Lake. And um, Wallace Lake is actually open to the ocean at Foster. So what I would like to do is a comparison between the salinity in the lake at Smith Lake and Wallace Lake after all this rainfall that we've had because we're expecting that there will be quite low levels of salt or salinity and I'm going to use my refractometer to be able to test that. So you can see the water's just coming in here. I'm going to just carefully put the end in, allowing there to be a nice film of water across the plate and the cover on. And then I'm going to hold it up to my eye to a bright area of the sky and take the reading on the right hand side. And what I am seeing, it is 25 grams of salt per kilogram. So that is parts per thousand that's measured in. So what that means is that when we have 25 grams of salt per kilogram, um, in water that is less than seawater. So we know that there is fresh water entering this system because seawater has between 35 to 40 grams of salt per kilogram. All right, so I'm just gonna try and collect a sample of the salt water coming from the ocean. So I've got my sample of salt water on the plate and I'm just gonna take a reading. It is reading 35 grams of salt per kilogram just as we'd hoped for from the ocean water.